You have waited months for your consultation with the doctor. In this video, I'm going to teach you 10 tips to optimize that visit, to literally get more out of your doctor's consult. Don't turn away because that starts right now. Hey! Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. As a multiple sclerosis specialist, I do new consultative evaluations every clinic day. They are very, very intense moments where we are coming together to try to figure out some really complicated stuff. I want you to have the most efficient, effective, and useful visit possible. And I think strongly that if you apply these 10 tips, that's exactly what's gonna happen. So let's jump in. Tip number one, I want you to write out a timeline from the very first weird symptom that led to you coming to the attention of doctors, that led to you having a bunch of tests, that ultimately led to you coming in to see me. Quite literally, I want you to write out each of these events in a chronological timeline. Include the doctor's visits, the test they did, a summary of their results. If you don't go through this exercise, then you're at risk of not remembering when you're put on the spot. You're at risk of not being able to share a key element of information which will help me understand the situation all the much better. Tip number two, carry with you hard copies of all of your MRI scans. Don't bring a report. I want you to hand deliver hard copies of your MRIs. Pro tip, mail the discs ahead of time. At our clinic, we need you to send your discs ahead of your appointment. If you simply bring a report, it's insufficient. I have to actually look at the pictures and I wanna look at them with you. It's very, very important. Tip number three, bring printed copies of all clinic notes leading up to the consult. Quite literally, I want you to bring all the clinic notes from your old neurologist, from your primary care doctor, from the other specialist that you've seen. Bring them with you in a binder in chronologic order. It is very, very important as we go backwards in time to understand what's already been done and the thoughts that have already been had. Please bring all of that with you. It is your responsibility to bring that so that we can review it together. Pro tip, send all of this by mail ahead of time. Make sure the clinic has received it prior to when you come in for the clinic visit. Tip number four, bring printed copies of all laboratory reports all of the blood work that you've had done, all of the urine tests that you've had done, and all of the spinal fluid you've had done. I'm talking about the actual numbers from the laboratory. Pro tip, mail that stuff in ahead of time. Number five, bring an up-to-date medication list to include the name of the medicine, the dose of the medicine, and the frequency that you take it. Have it all written down on a piece of paper. Tip number six is a big one. Arrive to your visit 30 minutes before they asked you to. The thing is, when you come to a new consultative visit, we have to check your insurance information and your primary care information, and we have to write down your pharmacy, and we have to ask you to fill out HIPAA paperwork, and you have to fill out consent forms, and you have to fill out a bunch of stuff. Which can take a long time. Please arrive at least 30 minutes before the requested time. It'll help a tremendous amount, and it will make your consult all the more effective. Tip number seven piggybacks off tip number six. Have at the ready your ID card, your insurance card, your pharmacy numbers, and the contact information for your primary care doctor. We're gonna need that as soon as you arrive. During the consult, I'm going to need to examine you. Tip number eight is to wear shoes and socks that easily come on and off, and an outer jacket that's easy to take on and off. Dress in layers. Tip number nine is to bring a written list of questions. As you prepare for your consult, you're gonna have thoughts and questions and things that you wanna ask the doctor. And at the end of the visit, when the doctor says, any questions? If you're not prepared with a list, you might forget something that you wanna ask. Write it down and present it to the doctor. It's a guaranteed way of making sure that your questions get answered. Tip number 10, bring a friend. When you go to the consult, bring a loved one, a close friend or a family member who is a good listener and literally can take notes on your behalf. That way later, if you're having trouble remembering something the doctor said, your friend was there to help remind you. If you're impacted by MS and you wanna up your game, click the video on your screen right now. Go ahead and click it. My name's Aaron Boster and thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next video or my next live stream or the next time I see you in clinic, be safe and take care.